and it's all about crucial resistancing because if we don't maintain resistancing then there will be nothing left because if we don't keep on resistancing then they will take over all of our lives all of our systems of government and everything else all taken over by the Nazi warlords orders <clears throat> yeah what we want is a now N O W N dot O dot W dot, which would stand for New Orderly World, <coughs> created for the people and by the people. <coughs> a uh, anti politics a uh, system. The anti politics system would be <coughs> enabled if people would only vote. First of all, you'd have to vote, obviously, for the anti-politics party. And the anti-politics party would be the only party available. In fact, when it got into power, it would uh, dismantle itself and then become the anti-politics committee or movement or whatever you want to call it. And it would be completely anti-polarisation, anti-argument, all to do with consensus. What is consensus? Consensibly, consensibly agree, be agreed upon by persons of any nation worldwide. In fact, so the people's pure kind of hearts and uh, consciences are involved in politics instead of the certain evil uh, machinations of the rich and powerful over the uh, average citizen. I'm not to saying that there can't be people with a little more money than others. I think that's perfectly okay. Initiative will be totally stifled. But there's no reason to have a billionaire on the planet whatsoever. No, if they're a billionaire, they're a criminal. They've got their money by illicit means, either in the past or in their own lifetimes, and that money must be taken away from them, their resources in gold or whatever it is, stocks or whatever, be taken away from them and distributed amongst a, well, put into the common pot for the common good of freedom. And freedom means freedom to set up a business, freedom to own land, relaxation of planning laws, taking sheep off the land and putting people back onto the land, things like this. Simple, easy things we can do and spread out more and stop being <coughs> built on top of one another. blah de blah de blah de blah de blah 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 So this is the most sensible broadcast you've probably ever heard in your life. So this is the kind of things we need to be thinking about. Anti-politics against the party system of left-right, left-right paradigm, against communism, against socialism, against, um, what's the other isms? All the isms, they're irrelevant. All we need is... Well, I suppose humanism, I'm not sure what humanism means anymore, but there was a humanist party, wasn't there? So, I don't know. But basically an earthlingism, perhaps, but not an ism. An earthlings party, that would be fine for everyone and all things. That would include the animals and plants, of course. Yeah, all living things on the planet are now endangered, as never before, by the evil tyranny that uh, holds sway over all our lives. So, it's come on. Get on down, make your voices heard in a massive resistance thing. And if they come up to you spreading lies, we'll have to deride them with sarcasm and we'll have to start pers persistencing, which is taking the piss out of them constantly until they go away. Thank you very much and have a good day. Thank you. Remember, time is of the essence and now matters more, perhaps, than ever before. So, whatever you can do in the now to change things, make things better, do it now because there may not be a tomorrow. Thank you very much and a good day and a happy morrow to you, all good earthlings on the planet. I rest my case. Thank you very much. And the case rests me. <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers then. Bye-bye.